بسم اللہ الرحمن رحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر بیک ود کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا رول آف ڈائریکٹرز بٹ دا ڈائریکٹرز آر بیسکلی کانسٹیٹیوٹیڈ ود ان پرٹیکولر بورڈ وچ از کال دا بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز اینڈ ٹوڈے واٹ وی گوئن ٹو ڈو از دیٹ وی گوئن ٹو سی دا ڈفرینس بٹوین ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسو بورڈز بیکاز ان سم کیسز بورڈز آر ویری ایکٹیو ان ادر کیسز دے آر پیسو اینڈ دیر آر ڈفرینٹ ڈائریکٹ اینڈ انڈائریکٹ امپلیکیشنز فار اے پرٹیکولر آرگنائزیشن ناؤ دی آئیڈیا a portrayal of the board is an active deliberate and decision forum for the business so again when we are talking about an ideal situation for the board it should be active it should be deliberative and decisive forum for the business board of directors collectively de- determine to the decision they make the fate of the corporation so the destiny of the organization is basically in the hands of the directors who basically give it direction who give it vision and also give long term strategies to the organization Boards are inevitably part-time due to the necessary extensive external other commitments of the directors that enhance the potential contribution they make to the company. Board work tends to be concentrated in very intensive short periods of time. So again, what we see is that the role of the board is not continuous. The role of the board is staggered, uh, tends to be unpredictable and would depend upon the situation uh, where strategic direction is needed, where certain decisions are needed. where the authority of the ceo ends the authority of the board tends to begin and all of those approval and sanctions also have to take place so all of these things are very very important and they constitute an active board econ zender in the u2000 in the survey suggested that the average directors in the north america and europe dedicate around 100 hours or even less to their task with an average seven meetings in a year so econ zender basically carried out this survey and talked about average directors and the amount of time they put in is around 100 hours or even less to their task with an average of 7 meetings a year so that basically means again in only 7 meetings they dedicate about 100 hours and that is the average director now the growing importance attributed uh, to the work of the board committees and the increasing emphasis on internal financial controls and risk management has taken toll on the minimum commitment role so first uh, the board used to be passive used to be dormant but now because of corporate governance uh, they they are responsible for internal financial controls and risk management which has enhanced their roles uh, in a big way it is likely today that being a non executive director of an active and engaged board of directors might involve at least double the effort so that is also very important that one cannot be dormant anymore the extent of non executive involvement and the intensity of the commitment called for together with the resulting stress is greatly amplified when the responsibilities of the position are put to test in times of crisis so again what we see ladies and gentlemen is is that uh, the non executive board and the non involvement uh, actually leads to more involvement because of the amplified level of stress and the intensity of the commitment which uh, basically tends to flourish on a negative side uh, during the times of crisis and therefore uh, there is a great need to be careful and to ensure uh, that such things uh, do not happen and that all work and acts are done with the highest level of responsibility one large company in australia reported 83 board meetings in a single year during a prolonged crisis which involved corporate restructuring divestment adopting a new financial structure setting out an entirely new strategic direction so some companies have actually been able to work harder and work more and they have been able to create their own niche and their own markets there is much evidence that in the past board of directors enjoyed a fairly passive existence carrying out their duties in the united states for example much of the 20th century was accepted in many countries that the ceo would select and control the board so now this is a conflict of interest that the ceo is selecting and controlling the board then the board is definitely going to make a decision to reinforce the ceo and ensure that uh, all of the company uh, assets are basically taken care of in a much better way so that is something that we have seen uh, over the years the growing prosperity of the us economy in the middle decades of the 20th century encouraged the sense that all was well in the corporate world the best thing boards could do was to offer unqualified support to their management so again what we see is that a stronger relationship was being developed between the board and the ceo and in many times it was seen that the ceo would be nominating the proposed board and therefore would uh, compromise the neutrality and the merit of that particular board so this is extremely important now let's look at what bill wayman uh, basically mentioned about the board he states that i was proud to serve on the gm board but we operated in a very passive manner we were invited to join the board by the ceo and really met alone to share 
uh, our thoughts on the company's progress and more particularly on the performance of the CEO and management. The board endorsed the annual plans and long term strategy, but uh, any role in developing or refining these plans was considered to be small. Uh, board meetings were crowded with the presentations, but with little time allotted for discussion. So, again, we see that uh, most of these workshops and most of these meetings were more of a monotone, and there was no deliberation, there was no sharing of ideas, there was no opposition, and that led to lesser refinement at the end of the day. So, it's very, very important that the boards play their role in a very active way and ensure that there is no intrusion uh, within the ecosystem that they are developing because through intrusion uh, it can be demotivating and plus they can also jeopardize uh, what is being done and therefore the CEO and the board have to spend a lot of extra time to ensure uh, that the other employees do not get embroiled in these different situations and therefore the active board plays its role in the best possible way. Thank you.